It's still a few weeks out from the start of school, but summer break doesn't mean vacation when you're a teacher. She's gonna be our pizza runner. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to <laughs> For Mary Brewer, it means a lot of prep work, but it also means getting back into the field she loves. You retired from teaching. Yes. You're coming back to teach. Why? Because I love kids and I love people that love kids. And I like the prep of creating an environment for them to love school. Because if they love school, they like life and they do things better. I mean, just to be able to play with their brains every single day, what kind of a job allows you to do that? Brewer began her career as a teacher, then worked at the collegiate level training other teachers, and then went into semi-retirement, just working occasionally as a sub. Now, she's headed back to teaching full-time. As Brewer returns to teaching, she enters a dwindling field. In fact, 2015 data from the ACT test show, only about 4% of high school graduates say they're interested in pursuing a career in education. And that 4% tends to underperform in topics like science and math, which corresponds with something the Coeur d'Alene School District told me. It's harder to fill teaching positions in those subjects specifically. I don't know if they don't um, see the teaching as a as a, that career that's a, a good career it makes me sad because I love teaching and I like I like to promote the idea that teachers can make a difference in our kids' lives. As a culture, what do you think needs to change to start attracting young people to teaching once again? I think that we as teachers need to make an environment in our classroom that makes them happy to be here and makes our students feel like they can make that difference. I'm a teacher because of what my elementary teachers did and my high school biology teacher did. We just need to create the environment and encourage our kids. Get them out in the press, get them out in the front and say, you know what, this is important. Rob Harris, Creme 2 News.